Hi, my name is Chris Ryan and welcome to the Forest of Arden where we are talking about ball position. As you can see, I've got my golf bag here. So we're gonna talk about ball position through the bag and how it would change from your short irons, through your mid irons, your long irons, and then into your woods or maybe your hybrids. Now, if you've been following my channel for a while, you will maybe have noticed I haven't really done a video on ball position up to now. I've done the odd one on maybe driver or wedges, but nothing that's really covered the whole bag and where it should be through the bag. And there is good reason for this. Unfortunately, every single golfer out there watching this video, every single golfer out there playing this game of golf will have a ball position which is really ideal for them. There isn't a one size fits all. However, there are some guidelines that we can kind of look at today, run you through, and it's gonna help you if you need to check your golf ball position. We'll come to a little bit later in the video why these ball positions may need to change for each injury as a golfer, but let's start off by covering the, the ball position. So you'll notice that I have got my Alignment Pro on the ground in front of me. I've got one which is parallel to my target line, and then one which is at 90 degrees to that, which is gonna help us visually reference the ball position. In my hands, I have got my pitching wedge. So I'm just gonna take my address to this golf ball with my pitching wedge. And what you will notice here is, and we can say use that stick on the ground. I've got this golf ball position. If you were looking roughly, you would say it's about middle of my stance. I would like to see the back of the golf ball, so the trailing edge, pretty much middle of my heels. And notice that I said middle of heels, not middle of toes, because if I had my feet maybe a little bit more splayed out, that would look a little different. So we're looking at where that ball position is relative to the heels. So you can see that's my pitching wedge and I would have that ball back of the ball middle of my heels. Notice where that ball position is relative to the zip on my jacket as well. Okay, pretty close to the zip on my jacket. And that's ultimately what we're trying to do. Our golf ball should be positioned relative to our upper body in the correct fashion. So let me take away my pitching wedge and let me pull out my seven iron. So seven iron we're classing as a mid iron. I'm gonna take my setup to this and you will notice that my stance gets a little bit wider. But you will also notice hopefully that that golf ball is positioned very, very similar to what it was with the pitch wedge. I've got the back of the ball pretty much middle of my heels and again, pretty much under the zip on my jacket. That is hopefully going to enable me to achieve the right kind of impact I want with that downward angle of attack, getting that ball turf contact, allowing me to deliver the right amount of loft, which should be lower than the stated loft, all the things that we would like to do with those iron shots, especially when they are on the ground. Let's move into a long guy. Now I'm gonna pull, let's pull my three iron here. Now three iron is definitely classed as a longer iron. Many of you won't carry a three iron, but you might have something equivalent, maybe a hybrid. And if I took my setup with this three iron, you're going to now notice now how that ball has now moved a little bit more up in my stance. It's much closer to my lead foot. Again, the alignment stick there gives me that visual. But really what I've actually done is I've moved the golf ball forward of my zip. That is absolutely key when we're looking at ball position. If I move the ball more up in my stance relative to my feet, as I've done here, but my upper body leans more towards the target, you'll notice that my zip is now back in line with that golf ball. So even though that ball may look forward in my feet, it's really at no difference relative to what my pitching wedge was and what my seven iron was. That would still be classed as a ball position which is in the middle of me. What might happen then is I might start to hit this golf ball with the same attack angle as I would do my pitching wedge. I'm probably not gonna get the desired flight. I might then start to release the club early. I might start to back upwards this way. I'm going to start to implement other things into my golf thing to get that desired height. So yes, it's much easier to relate ball position to feet. Absolutely, forward of the stance, middle of the stance, back of the stance. But we have to appreciate that actually we're trying to move that ball relative to your sternum. So with my longer irons, I want that ball a little bit further up in my stance and a little bit ahead of my sternum. That will mean that I will still be striking downwards, but not with the same severity as I would with maybe my wedge or my seven iron. Okay, let's now move into the driver. Let's put that head cover on the floor. So let's tee that ball up like it would do for a driver. Okay, so again, I'm gonna set myself up with a driver. Now you'll notice how that golf ball is even further up in my stance. It's now just off the inside of my 
lead heel. And again, what we're actually trying to do is get it much more forward of the zip on my jacket. What I've actually done here is I've done a couple of things to get that ball further forward. I've moved it further up in my stance, so towards my lead heel. But I've also taken a slightly wider stance, which again sets my stern and what the zip on my jacket more behind the golf ball. I might even add a little bit more side bend away from the target to get myself more behind the golf ball. So again, yes, we're relating that ball to the feet. We want it off that lead heel, but it's actually about getting the sternum a lot more behind the golf ball. The more we can get the sternum behind the golf ball, the more that golf ball will effectively be up in the stance. That enables us to do the things that we want to do with the driver, such as increase the amount of upwards, trying to hit that golf ball maybe two to three, maybe even four degrees on the way up. Again, so, so common for a golfer to stand there with the ball position off that lead heel, but have the upper body back in line this way. You can see how, again, my zip is probably still behind the ball, but nowhere near enough. This golfer is going to really struggle to deliver the club as they want to. However, visually by looking at the feet, they would say, well, that ball position is correct. So using the feet and where the ball is positioned within your feet relative to your heels is great. It's a very easy way of looking at ball position, but we have to appreciate that it's really where is that golf ball positioned relative to your sternum? Is your sternum in line with the ball, slightly behind it, or a long way behind it? And that is really gonna make the difference between whether you hit down, whether you hit up, uh, whether you can flight the ball correctly, whether it's too low, whatever it may be. So obviously we didn't cover every golf club there, but we went through pretty much the bag from the short iron through the mid, through the long, and through the driver. Now we're just gonna do a little bit of a, a kind of quick, almost disclaimer here at the end. What I did say was that every golfer will have maybe a unique ball position for them. If you can imagine my golf club is working around my body in this kind of arc shape, which it does, the path that the golf club takes is never constant. So as I approach from here, my club is actually traveling down towards the ground and out to the right of my target. At this point here, my golf club is traveling away from the ground and left of target. So where I hit the ball on this arc can really influence the attack angle and the club path. Now, a good coach who knows this information will actually be able to tweak ball position to suit the individual. So my club path tends to go too far to the right of my target. If I had a setup where the ball was too far back in my stance, so too much towards my trail heel, my club path would go further to the right. That would make my path worse. So when you see me play golf on the course, I may well adopt a ball position which is slightly further forward than maybe what would be classed as average or standard. But there's a reason why I do that because it helps neutralize my path. My path gets a little bit closer to zero, not quite at zero, I'm working towards that, it gets closer to zero and that helps me with a more neutral ball flight. So a guideline is fantastic. So if you're a new golfer or someone who's really struggling in the ball position, use this video as a guide, but appreciate that actually you may need to tweak your own ball position to help you hit better shots out of the golf course. And ultimately that is the goal on the course is to hit the ball where you want. Ball position can be tweaked to help you achieve that a little bit better. So thank you very much for watching. Hopefully that gives you an idea on ball position through the bag. It might help you understand it a little bit more. Uh, it might help you just during practice to get it correct. I would always advise setting a station like I've done here just makes it so much easier for you to see what you're doing and achieve some better starting positions. As I say, thank you for watching. Usual stuff as always is down below. You've got a comments box down there, you've got a like button and you've also got a link to subscribe. Click that link, four videos going up each and every week. Make sure you won't miss any. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again soon.